But today we got the Breakfast Club, right? And we saw what happened the last time somebody on the right went to the Breakfast Club, which was Ron Swami. We saw how they treated him. Yeah, she was very rude and disrespectful. Well, she, again, she's here on this clip, but not 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 for too long. I'm kind of showing you guys like a 10 minute, but the video is actually over an hour long. I'm, but I'm gonna leave the link in the description so you guys can go and check out the full interview for yourself. So let's see how to treat Larry Elder. All right, we all know Larry Elder is very smart. He don't want to hear anything about no racism. He's gonna let you know exactly how it is. So we know the breakfast, you know, Shalom and the guys, they know they're biased, right? But let's let's get into it. Oh, if your statistics are right, what are the reasons that you think fathers aren't in the home? As I said, it's because uh, in the mid-60s, Lyndon Johnson launched what he called the War on Poverty. In Charlemagne, literally, they sent social workers door-to-door -door in the inner city. I remember this. Mm -hmm. Advising women of the availability of welfare provided there was no man in the house. It created an economic incentive for women to marry the government. Same thing with whites. In 1965, 8% of whites entered the world without a father in the home married to the mother. Now it's about 25%, also up threefold. Look at census data, 1910, 1920, 1930, in places like Milwaukee, Chicago, uh, Philadelphia, a young black kid was slightly more likely to be brought into a world with a father in the home married to the mother than a young white kid. We have incentivized this kind of bad behavior Very and true. it's had a disproportionately bad effect on the black community. Let me ask a question, what yes. do white people do wrong, Larry Elder? What do you mean, what do white people do? I'm not worried about white people. I'm worried about what, 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 what's going on with us. If, there, if, there's, if there's systemic racism in this country, which I, we know I, it is. No, no, I, I don't say there is. You say there is. I don't believe that. Oh, you don't believe this? No, there racism? used to be, obviously. Mm. Tell me, tell me yes. what you think the number one systemic example of systemic racism is in America. Oh, man, there's so many. Just give, just give, just give me the most important one, you think. At the top of mind, I'll probably maybe say maybe mass incarceration. Maybe. Really? Um, in during the Great Depression, when 50% mm -hmm. of black adults were unemployed, you didn't have this kind of mass incarceration. It's the breakdown of the family. There's I'm a direct. Not, I'm, not, I'm not going to. I, I agree with the family part. I, I'm a black man who is a father to his children, and I'm right. a happily married right. black man to a black woman. So I'm never going to argue with that part. Mm -hmm. You know, but I just feel like everything is black, 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 black with you. Black is wrong. Black people do this and black people do that. And when I ask you what white people do wrong, you said you're not worried about white people at I'm all. I'm talking about... Exactly, because we are black. That's like, that's like I'm black. What's, what affects my life more day to day? A white person or a black person? Let's be honest in the, in, in the comments. If you're black, what affects you more daily? It's going to be a black person. Majority of celebrities that gets killed. By who? A black person. You get robbed. Most likely by a black person. When the last time we seen a white person rob a black person, you don't really rarely see that. You rarely. So obviously he's going to talk more about black. That's his culture. Obviously he's going to talk more of that. You see it happen time to time. Why is trying to act like he's dumb? He see the violence that goes on in the black community. This is what I don't like about these places, man. They're so biased to the reality. Something will happen and they will look at it like, oh no, ain't no way. It just... It just happened. You just saw it happen. What you mean? That's what they like to do. Anything that's factual. You all know Larry Ellis is all about facts. He's all about facts. That's why he asked Charlemagne, give him one. Mass incarceration. Who tell you to go out there, rob, shoot, steal, home invasion? Who tell you to go do all of that? Nobody did. That's on you. About the, the damage, disproportionate damage going on in the black community. For example, look at these uh, smash and grabs that are taking place in Los Angeles where I live. There's a suburb called Glendale where uh, at a mall recently, yes. a mob of 30 to 40 people, they had masks on, but one guy got popped. He was a black. And I think most of those who were doing this were black. Uh, and in recent years and times, there have been a number of these uh, in places like Chicago, places like, like New York. If I were involved in something like that, Charlemagne, I grew up with a dad, uh, just as you're uh, raising your your own children. I would have been more afraid of my father than I would about the cops catching me. Yes. These kids are afraid of neither. They don't have a father in the home. Cops are demoralized. They're pulling back. Uh, their manpower is short. Uh, and as a result, you tell a bad guy you're less likely to be caught, convicted, incarcerated. Crime goes up. They may be criminals, but they're not stupid. Mm -hmm. When you say, what do white people do? I mean, this is a country that has struggled mightily to, to get over its, uh, its historic racism. Uh, there was a civil war. There was a big civil rights movement. Uh, this is the only majority white country that's ever elected a black president, let alone re-elected a black president. The three biggest cities in America are New York, Chicago, L.A. They all have black mayors, even though no city has a majority of black population. The president of Harvard is a black female. Mm -hmm. Martin Luther King in 1966, Charlemagne, 
gave an interview to the BBC. This is two years after the Civil Rights Act of 64 got passed. And he said, I'm amazed at how many positive changes there have been in America in the last two years. Why, if we, things keep going like this, we could have a black president in about 40 years' time. Mm-hmm. Do the math. Right on cue, Barack Obama, elected 2008. He didn't say there'll be a black female president of Harvard, and there has been. He didn't say there are going to be black CEOs of Fortune 500 companies, and there have been several. He didn't say the percentage of the House would equal the percentage of black people in the population, and it does. He didn't say the three largest cities would have black mayors, uh, and they do. He, he didn't say the largest and most prestigious organization, uh, organization of doctors, the American Medical Association, would have two black presidents, and there have been. He didn't say the most prestigious organization of lawyers, the American Bar Association, would have two black uh, presidents, and they have. He said president, mm-hmm. meaning at that point, I can feel that I've reached the mountaintop, which is the speech he gave right before he got assassinated the day before. And now we act as if Barack Obama never even got elected. And we're still talking about systemic racism. It's not fair. It's (laughs) wrong. And you're discouraging (laughs) black people from working hard. Nineteen. Thank you, Larry. See, this is what I love about Larry Elder. Facts. We are all about facts. If you ain't got facts, I don't want to hear it. Sorry. We go out what's going by day to day, data and life. All right. It's funny thing. And Charlemagne. Charlemagne is rich. DJ Envy. Rich. Successful. Charlemagne, you're a successful black man. Charlemagne is very successful. Coming from podcasts to um, Breakfast Club. I got to go on and on. So why do they act like who's holding you back? You're rich with millions. Why don't you pass on that that knowledge to the youths? Come on, man. Stop. Something like Larry said, it's unfair. Why do they act like black people in America never achieve certain success? Where? They reach the highest office they could ever reach, the White House. All right, uh, they say Obama is biracial. All right. Scratch that. Some of the richest man in America, Jay Z, black man, Jay Z, P. D. D. Fifty Cent, Dr. Dre, they're all black. Yes, we know the violent music, the rap music. Well, we know about that. Actors, Denzel Washington, Morgan Freeman, Co- YouTubers. Do I do I gotta count how many black people that I know that are very rich and successful? I do we act like we at the bottom of the of the barrel and we don't have nothing. You know what I call it? Ungrateful. Okay. Mr. Elder, a quick question. Yes, Let's just remove the word racism since that seems to be a word uh, that that triggers, you know, a, a conversation down the water hole. Let's just focus on the word system. Uh, okay. You mentioned that the system uh, was the one that discouraged. And again, we have no problem uh, with agreeing that the, the family, the, the black family should certainly uh, have some room for some improvement. But let's just focus on system. Room for you said improvement? The system. Well, we're not going to go down that water. You, okay. We're not going to go down that water hole. Let's get to the question. So the question is, you said that the system encouraged uh, black women to be single mothers, correct? I said the welfare state, yes. The welfare, the system. So who's okay. in charge of the system? Who was in charge of the system? Well, it was Democrats that passed it. And who the, were the, Democrats? Were they black or white at that time? Well, at the time, majority <laughs> of black people were Democrats as the majority of black no, no, people no, are Democrats not, now. Not the voters. I'm, I'm talking about the system. Remember, the main idea is the word system. Who was in charge of the system at the time? The, the Democrats at the time. The system. It's still a little bit of a point about white or black. Was it white Democrats in charge of the system or black Democrats in well, charge of the system? Well, if you're prepared to say that Lyndon Johnson did this viciously with an intent to destroy the black family, I disagree. He did it with the best of intentions. Uh, no, and, 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 if you, and if you look at and if you look at the New York Times, which is left wing, the Washington Post, which is left wing, they cheered all of this. Right. And what I'm asking was it white people. So I'm going to ask again in case my mic's not coming through clearly. Was it white people in charge of the system or black people in charge of that system that helped break down the black family? It's a simple. Yes. Just a simple question. Oh, my God. Do you need it doesn't matter. You're for the breakfast club. You're majority for the left. So what difference does it make if they are white or black? You're part of that system. You're part of that left. That promoted that. So it doesn't matter if they're black. This is so stupid. It's so dumb shit. She frustrates me. See, she already frustrates me. And she just got on for like about 30 seconds, guys. This is what, like, and people be cheering her on. Why are you asking this dumb question? You all promote that. Even Charlamagne was shocked when um Joe Biden said, oh, you're in black and you're from him. He was shocked. That, 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 that hurt him deep inside. That's the part of y'all, y'all, y'all promote. <laughs> what? Question, white or black? 
Well, you didn't have to go on welfare unless you voluntarily chose to go on welfare. The inducement was put there uh, by Democrats, uh, by, the, Democrats by, the, by the left. Correct. Okay. White well, well most correct. black most black people were Democrats and they voted for these white people. Not too. voters. I said who's in charge who's of the system. Oh my God. Well, who puts who them, in who, charge? Who put them in charge? Was Lyndon Johnson who put white them, or who put black? them in charge? Who put them in maybe that'll well, help you. Fine. Lyndon, Lyndon, Lyndon Johnson was white. Thank you. Okay. Sure but right. but if your argument is that the reason he did it is because of racism, then no. I disagree. He did it because of. That's the, not my argument. I just asked you a simple question: Was he white or black, Charlemagne? And you know, uh, Mr. Elder, you said. Stupid, you see what stinker attitude is? Y'all vote them in. Don't sit in Larry just said, y'all vote them in. Just like y'all voted for Joe Biden. Just like y'all y'all voted up. <laughs> man, listen, man. People can't be this dumb in real life, in real time right now. There's no way possible. Larry Elder just said it. You guys voted them in. And they don't want to create that system. Majority of black people are for the left. I was one of them. I'm not going to lie. Bro, this is this, this is this top notch hypocrisy. Hip hop, and that should come off. That's all I want to ask them to say. Who won the Breakfast Club? I don't even know. If you guys know, you let me know in the comments. But I'm just saying, the majority of things owned in America is run by who? All right, I thought so. Uh, you talked about the, the smashing grabs, right? And I mm -hmm. find that interesting. Wait, 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 wait. So I had to pause. Sorry, 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 sorry. Who owns you two? that they're currently on right now. That's all I got to say. Because, you know, when you see the mass shootings that happen, majority of those people are white males. What do you, what do you think about a that? Actually, if you look at the percentage of, of whites in America, which is 60%, the percentage of mass shooters is under that. The percentage of people that commit hate crime is under that. The percentage mm -hmm. of people who are serial killers is under that. Black people are 13% of the population. We commit a greater percentage compared to that no, of mass shootings. No, you talked about the smashing grabs, though. So I was saying, since you're using that as an example, I'm saying, well, what about, you know, the mass shooters that are usually one, white males? One, one, one more time. They, they are usually white males because 60% of the country is, is, is white. However, they underrepresent in terms of the number of mass shootings. Yes. Uh, about 50% or so of the mass shootings in this country are committed by white people, even though white people are 60% of the population. They underrepresent. We overrepresent when it comes to hate crime, when it comes to mass shootings, when it comes to serial killings, when it comes to robberies, when it comes to virtually every category of violent crime. We overrepresent. So what do white people do wrong? I'm going to keep asking you that. Cause I wanna, well, like, you well you, it, seem, it, seem, it, seems, it seems to me, rather than deal with, with what's going on, the pathology that's going on in the inner city, mm -hmm. you want to blame, you want me to talk about how bad white people are, no, which I don't think is a pretty, pretty, particularly productive thing to do. Well, I think there's talking, a cause and effect, but you know, if we can't talk about the cause, which I believe is systemic racism and white supremacy, the FBI says... The well, I just told you, if it's systemic racism, please explain to me how it was when Americans... America really had systemic racism in 1940. 87% mm -hmm. of blacks lived under the poverty line. Again, this is during uh, Jim Crow era. My father is from Athens, Georgia, grew up in Jim Crow. My mom is from Huntsville, Alabama, grew up in Jim Crow. 87% of blacks live below the poverty line. This is before Brown versus Board of Education. Probably you you did no not choice. find you did not find these kind of black on black crime. Probably because we had no But choice. they still no, were living the, below the poverty line, though, sir. I'm sorry. You're forgetting the fact that they they were still living below the poverty line. You're picking and choosing, it's saying this was choosing. good, but this was bad. Okay. The bottom line, they end between the poverty line. But let's move forward. Well, on well let me. Can, can I just you, add, me, can I just address that? In 1940, 87% of blacks lived under the poverty so line. Rude, 1960, that number had fallen to 47%. That's a 40 point drop in 20 years. That's the greatest 20 year period of economic expansion for black people in the history of America. Again, well before Brown versus Board of Education, well before the KKK uh, 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 imploded, uh, well before we had race-based preferences. Why? Because it was rare for a black kid to be raised in a, in a family without a father in the home. Uh, a strong belief in Judeo-Christian values, a belief in patriotism, even as America wasn't applying these values to black people, obviously, uh, and a belief in entrepreneurship. All those things are now under assault by organizations like Black Lives Matter, Charlemagne. Black Lives Matter had on their website an attack on the nuclear family. Uh, the founders yes. are self-described Marxists, trained Marxists. Marx wanted to dethrone God, was an atheist, and Marx did not believe in capitalism, uh, let alone entrepreneurship. All the things that made black people still survive in virulent racism are now under attack by organizations like Black Lives Matter. All of those things have always been under attack by white supremacy. You can go back to things like whether it's the Tulsa race massacres, like every time black people do create these systems that are our systems and we are the entrepreneurs, it seems like white supremacy every, finds a way to destroy every, every, it. Every time, look, the Tulsa massacre, within about five years, that whole area was rebuilt. 
Uh, it was not even called the uh, the Black Wall Street until after it was rebuilt. And it was rebuilt, by the way, by black people without one dime of government money. Yeah, but who I, destroyed I will, it to begin with? It was right wait, racists who destroyed it. No question okay, about it. it we've had we've had race riots. But so so of Japanese. So, what, so, oh, what, hold on, so hold on, you do agree hold, that there's racism? I'm just so confused. You know, oh, oh my I never God. even came close to saying. I never came. Ago I, never came close, I, never, I never came close to saying there was no racism. You just said but, you don't think it's systemic racism. Not anymore. Obviously, there was. We had something that called slavery. We had something called Jim Crow. That was a system that destroyed black. It was, well, hold on, sir. That was I'm a sorry? system that destroyed that was the system that destroyed Black Wall Street. It's the same system right now that's not even wanting to pay those same living descendants, because I know your position on reparations, but those same living descendants of Black Wall Street. Okay. And then you move and then you go on to say that this the system, the quote unquote system, is also trying to destroy President the Trump. So I'm just so confused <laughs> on do you believe that the system can destroy or not? You you pick and choose, sir, and that's what's so confusing. To me. You just said it wasn't racism. Now it is racism. When I, when it was time I said, to I said, back, I said it wasn't, there was no racism. I'm I said so it wasn't confused. systemic racism. Let's talk about. Uh, so what, uh, are you, wait, are you wait, just wait, hung wait, up can on can the words? Can, can I? Can I? Can I? Can I just make this make this point, yeah, Charlemagne? Yeah, yeah, please, sorry, uh, let's take Chinese Americans. Uh, Chinese Americans were the first ethnic group to be excluded with an immigration act in the late 1800s. Uh, they had riots against Chinese uh, in L.A. in San Francisco. There were laws that prevented Chinese Americans from participating in the laundry business. Yes. Uh, I'm in California. California, of course, rounded up Japanese Americans during World War II. There were laws that prevented Japanese uh, Americans from owning farmland. The average Japanese American household has a higher per capita income than the average white household. The average Chinese American household has a higher per capita income than the average white household. How does that happen? It happens because of a strong belief in family. It is rare for a Chinese American or a Japanese American kid to have, uh, to have a child outside of wedlock and a strong belief in education and a strong belief in entrepreneurship. These are the kinds of qualities that make people you successful. Can't, you can't blame everything on, on having a fatherless family, right? Because I didn't say blaming everything. I know, but, but that's what you're saying. You're saying a strong community. But no, you, you said that's what I just said. I didn't say you that. you talk about the Asian community, Asian community, it's easy for them to get loans for entrepreneurships. It's easy, easy for them to get loans for houses. You look at our community. Okay. If, you really, if you really want to talk about our community, right, you look at the schools in our community. Some of our schools are the worst, right? But they, you agree they, with that, yes or no? Absolutely, which right. is why, which is why, Wi-Fi, which, which is why, education, which is why one, of the, one of the reasons I'm running for president is for school choice. Also, would you say that it's in, in our community is systemic? It's, it's also in our communities heavy food deserts. There's nothing but fast food places that are just killing and destroying. That would you say that's, that's true? Systemic too, by the way. Boy. Uh, you would you say that's true? I'm just asking a question. Okay. You said a number of things. I just addressed one of them about sure. loans. Mm -hmm. uh, in 1965, uh, Barack Obama, who was in in private practice. Uh, joined a bunch of other lawyers to file a class action lawsuit against Citicorp, which is headquartered here in New York. 186 uh, black people were applying for loans for mortgages and they didn't get them. And they accused Citicorp of engaging in racism. Mm -hmm. Citicorp said, no, it's not racism. You have poor credit scores and we want to make sure we get our money back. Uh, Obama joined a bunch of other lawyers and they sued uh, Citicorp in a class action lawsuit. And Citicorp said, okay, to hell with it. Gave them all loans. Uh, and uh, they followed them all up. Daily Caller did a few years later. Almost all of them lost their home. Several of them filed for bankruptcy. One of them even said, you know, when you don't qualify for a loan, maybe we shouldn't get a loan. Well, duh. It wasn't true that black people were not getting loans. Uh, plus, there are all sorts of uh, black-owned community banks around the country, and it turns out the turndown rate when you apply for a loan at a black a community bank was even higher because they had less capital and they couldn't afford to loan money to risky people. It is just not the case that the reason for the plight of the black community is because people were not lending money to them. It's just not true. That's not true. Hold on one second, Charlotte. What's not true? You're bringing about facts from 1965, right? Let's talk 2020. We're going to leave it right there, guys. You guys want to continue watching and feel free to go check it out. Link will be in the description, all right? But you see what Larry Ella was saying. They were asking him, they were asking him stuff about the past, right? The majority of the stuff they were bringing up was about the past. So he was he was answering those questions, right? And everything Larry Ella is saying is so true. Do We are we our own... This is the problem we don't like to take in the black community. Accountability. We see in the music destroying. So if you're seeing something that's destroying your community and your people, why wouldn't you try to stop it? This is all your responsibility. You can't put it on the system because you're voting the system. If you're saying it does exist, you're the ones that's voting that system in. And when that system is active, Look how your community is doing. Look how America is doing. Let's pay attention. Why can't people just pay attention to what's going on in the economy and life itself? You're, you're on Breakfast Club. It's on a white platform. It's owned by a white person. Right or wrong? 
Y'all get millions and millions of views, maybe billions. How much money y'all making? Where? <laughs> this this is the hypocrisy that I don't like. Nothing's holding you back besides yourself. And I, I I said that before in one of my other videos about the um about the father not being in the home. It does play a big part in that person's life. I grew up with a father, so I came out okay. But I'm but I see what Larry Elder is trying to say, right? If you look at a lot of Spanish people, Chinese people, they are very close knit with their family, especially nowadays. Every time I see them moving, they're moving as a unit. Let me know in the comments. I pay attention to stuff like that. All right? Look at the black community. You don't see white people, right? This is only in the black community that I see. Chasing down other black people in cars. Look at Florida. Just what well, I think it was like a day or a day or two days ago in Florida, young black rapper, young black kid. I'm calling my kid, but teenager. He was 18 years old, right? On the highway, his ops saw him, decided to start shooting at him. He lost control of the car, a crash into a Mack truck. Died instantly. 18 years old. Is that a movie or something? Look at look at the way we hunt each other down. Like you can't compare racism or racism or not. How is it affecting your day-to-day -day life? DJ Envy, didn't you caught up with some type of conspiracy stuff? About loans? Let me don't get into that. If you guys don't want to talk about, leave it in the comments. These can be stopped. I see the size of your house. That's like a, it's a mansion. I see your cars. What is holding your back from all this racism? This is what Larry Elder is trying to say. Y'all are being hypocrites. So many successful black people in America, y'all looking at, oh, it's still racism. You cannot be the successful back then. That's what Larry, that's what Larry Elder said. He said it did exist so high to that point where he, he no, you can notice it. 87% of black people was below the poverty line. He said it. He never said it, though. He said, but he said, look where it was then compared to where it is now. We destroy our own community. You can't go around blaming white people forever. It comes onto accountability at the end of the day. We got to stop. When you got voices like DJ Envy and Charlamagne the God and um the lady over there, oh, she's getting on my damn nerves. If you saw what thing with racism, why are you on this platform that's owned by a white person? Why, why are you on here? Get off them. <laughs> you won't. So it's like you can't. Yeah, you can't win, man. But I love to hear you guys talk about this in the comments, man. These topics are very. I know it's always been up the past, and they're talking about loans. Why would why would I get somebody a loan that's not gonna pay me back? That's what they were doing. Remember all the all the um the house foreclosures. That's what happened when they're giving all the loans. People that foreclosing left and right. You can't just give everybody a loan that applies for a loan. And I heard that before. I think it was um Officer Tatum. When he, he said the same thing about um, the loans, that people were getting turned down, black people were getting turned down by black-owned banks. Let that make sense to you. Are they going to bring that up? And I'm going to leave you guys with this one more thing. They're the ones that's voting the system and that the so-called say is holding them back. Are we, we can't be this stupid. If somebody's holding you back, when you want to vote their south? Like, no, nah, you got to go. Nothing's changing. You're making things worse. You got to go. But they don't. And I think there's another part of the clip when Larry Elder addressed Charlemagne about the um the Joe Biden when Joe Biden said you in, you ain't vote for me you ain't black you guys go check that out <laughs> it, it, it was it's just seen the price look at Charlemagne the God's face you guys go check that out but hey if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you like and subscribe leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about the video in the comments man hey she gets on my nerve every time she comes on because it only seems like she attack people that's from the right doesn't matter if you're black. Why? It doesn't matter. She don't like anybody from the right. Apparently the right is built on racism. Just like she vote, she votes to the left. You saying, you want, to, you want to know exactly what color the person is. It doesn't matter what color the person is. On the left, that created the system. Look at all these states, like, like we already mentioned. Look at all these states that's run by black people. Are they going to ever bring that up? No. Hey, until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video, man. Peace out. You guys have a blessed day.